What are we talking about here? All right, well, this is your world. I know you like me to do the talking, but we're going to try to do a little bit deeper dive into the engineering and potential issues and, I guess, potential fixes now for issues with the, M, uh, the M18 oh, SIG P320. So we have an example of an M18 here. I actually bought this gun used, so I'm not 100% certain if it has the trigger upgrade from SIG or not. I, based on the serial number and the date, I believe it should be good to go, but I'm not, uh, not exactly sure. So, again, empty magazine. Okay, nothing in the chamber, good. Thank God. Um, I've certainly not had a live round in this thing in a long time. Uh, so this is a gun you're going to ideally want to appendix carry, correct? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. So if we can get it fixed, right? No, uh, I, I don't. Never recommend for this system for that, of course. Looking in, looking a little bit further into the SIG, um, I, I don't have an engineering background. I, I'm a layman when it comes to this stuff, but I am a firearms enthusiast. I'm a Glock armor, so I do have some working knowledge of semi-automatic, striker-fired, polymer-frame, nine-millimeter handguns, uh, and I do understand the basics of the the SIG P320 system and how to how to utilize it. So. There's a couple things be interesting to interesting to point out. Uh, one, the the play in the slide and the slop is the word I use is, is significant. I think that should be noted. And there's also a, a disassembly issue. I think it, it's kind of self rectifying, but it's also of kind of odd. So if you remove the magazine to properly disassemble the weapon, you lock it to the rear, you rotate that disassembly lever down. And the slide comes off of the uh, off of the handgun. To reassemble it, obviously in the in the same condition, you would click that slide stop lever up, reset the the disassembly lever, and then let the uh, let the let the slide go home, forward or home. And then you can take a magazine and properly seat the magazine into the firearm. Um, an interesting note with this system, and I. Glocks don't do, and I don't really understand why this happens, but if you you can improperly disassemble this. So I, I put that, that disassemble lever forward, the slide comes off. If I rotate that back or depress the trigger, something with this mechanism can move, and if I end up rotating that back down, and I won't hold this down, but I'm intentionally not going to uh, put that slide stop lever up. I'm gonna bring this to the rear, I'm going to go ahead and rotate that disassembly lever, and I'm going to let that slide go forward. Now, if I take a magazine, the weapon won't accept it, won't accept the magazine. I know this is not new; it's been demonstrated before, but just just noting some some odd irregularities with the system. And then if you lock it to the rear, you heard a, a pretty audible click there when I put the uh, put that slide that slide stop lever up. The nomenclature is not correct. My apologies. But now it accepts a magazine. So just some oddities with the system. And, and my biggest beef with the handgun, well, my two biggest beefs are one, lack of a trigger safety. Whenever you're talking about a weapon that can potentially be falling out, falling from heights or they're going to be carried around or dropped out of the vehicle, anytime any inertia, which is human movement, anytime any significant significant inertial forces can be placed on that trigger system it just makes so much sense to have some form of trigger safety to stop that trigger from going to the rear and then you know internally designed say what you will there is no firing pin block safety there's no significant block of the striker of the firing pin system uh, other than early series 70 style or early m1911s all, all modern semi-automatic, almost all modern handguns, especially semi-automatic striker-fired nine-millimeter handguns, have some form of firing pin block safety. And the fact that that there's not a chunk of metal that stands in the way of that of that striker and that firing pin from going home, going forward, is a is a an inherent flaw in my opinion. But trying to keep biases aside, and you know, a, a alleged much smarter people than myself adopted this weapon. Uh, we're going to try to do a dive into this this new patent that was filed today, or, or discovered, broken the news that it was discovered today. Okay, it was filed about a year ago, 24. It was filed in 2024, that yeah, fix? March something, I think. I, I guess said March of 25. Oh, I mean, I'll, I'll insert it here, right here. But Okay. So, uh, so yeah, but that's uh, that's where we're at. That's where we're at, and uh, my esteemed colleague is going to kind of break this down a little further, take it out of the, uh, take it out, take the fire control unit out, maybe disassemble a little bit, show some of the components. And show what what we're talking about would probably have to be done for to initiate this fix that's being discussed. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the M18 and the uh, obviously the 
it's all over the it's everywhere that these are these are firing un, uncommanded discharges that they're discharging without and, and I think one last thing we'll demonstrate is uh, we'll demonstrate that I don't believe the, my example of this weapon will uh, we can we can't get it to uh, to release the striker you know properly disassembled here we cannot get this to release by taking and I'm just going to use my thumb here by taking and manual safety down taking just a slight amount a little better view here just about a millimeter out of that it's kind of hard with because you know there's there's subjective amounts you know that That's there's the wall button, yeah. but if I can get to the wall and kind of hold it to the wall but it's hard to demonstrate without me putting without that I'm not depressing the trigger but I have not been able to make this make the striker release without depressing the trigger at least on this example so but uh, with that I'll turn it over to my esteemed colleague and let him uh, let him begin breaking down what we got here. I will say I don't know how you feel about it. I don't like that trigger feel. It's a it, mushy, it's mushy. Yeah, it's a mushy trigger feel. It's uh, coming from you know we'll we'll bring in it's the gun that should have won the contract and get an empty magazine, a cleared weapon. One thing I will add for the we'll, we'll discuss with the Glock. Had the Glock 19X won the contract, there is an issue. Let me rephrase. Not an issue. You do have to be abundantly careful when disassembling the Glock because there is no way to disassemble a Glock handgun without, in a safe direction, unloaded, verified unloaded, depressing the trigger to release that striker. And from there, it takes a little bit more coordination to pull down, take pressure off, pull down on the disassembly, and, and remove the gun. But again, nice large firing pin block safety there. Uh, I know mean, I'm getting the nomenclature wrong even with the Glock. However, just a, a more robust feeling, and just a, it's just such a higher quality feeling feeling weapon. Uh, so, just an example of of lack of significant slide play. There's some there, but it's just it's just a sturdy feeling gun with a to the wall, crisp four and a half, five and a half pound trigger pull. Whereas the Sig to the wall is a mushy release. So, just an example of difference. So basically what this uh, what this patent is suggesting is to swap out your sears because you need a little bit more material down here to accommodate and to change out your manual safety lever or slot your manual safety levers so it can interface and uh, when you're in the safe position which would be up you're going to not make it possible for your lower sear to drop and then when you would be turned in the correct position to fire that would line up with your slot so it can accommodate that gap right there. And now your sear can actually drop and you can shoot. And in my humble opinion, while this safety uh, will work as they intend it, it's not gonna work for everyone because a lot of agencies do not wanna have a manual safety switch. One of the problems, uh, especially the, the popular theory right now, is the slack within the slide actually disengaging the sear from the top, allowing your when your sear is engaged, if your slide can be depressed enough, it actually breaks sear contact and slams it forward. A striker block, honestly, is the is going to be the best solution. However, I see that being unrealistic to swap out all the slides for all the millions that they've already produced. Um, I mean, we'll see what else they come up with, but uh, that's just my two cents based on this fix. So, Thanks so much for watching. If you could like, share, and subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. It helps out a lot. And leave a comment if there's something else you'd like to see. And don't worry, we've got some cameras coming in and some mics, so we'll have better audio, more camera angles, better visuals going forward. So, appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Remember, guns don't kill people. People kill people. Except for the people at Six Hour, because they just said, hold my seat.